Hi, my name is Emily and I studied international development at eBay between 2018 and 19. I'm really happy and honoured to receive an award for the best thesis from the Spanish Network of Development Studies. My thesis was a bit of a mix between the use of new technologies and humanitarianism and organisational decision making. I focused on biometric technology. By this I mean the technology that we see in society all the time from voting to law enforcement to if you've been to an airport any time recently you probably had your face checked by biometrics. But it's also used by humanitarian organisations to identify vulnerable people that they work with. Organisations such as the United Nations Refugee Agency or UNHCR um, use it worldwide across all of their refugee programmes. They argue that it prevents fraudulent activity, it gives their organisation accountability as well as giving dignity and flexibility to the people that are receiving aid. However, on the other hand, we have organisations like the international NGO Oxfam who have absolutely prohibited biometrics from their programme work. They argue that we just don't understand enough about the risks of the data, how it's used and what we do in the ethical dilemma if somebody, uh, if it falls into the wrong hands. So my thesis explored this tension between Oxfam and UNH UNHCR. I wanted to understand that if biometrics was so risky for one of them, why did the other adopt it? Essentially looking at why a humanitarian organisation might be more risk averse to another. So I looked at a bunch of reasons for why that might be, including how centralised each organisation were, um, if they were privately funded, um, their internal culture, lots of factors like that. One interesting finding to share with you was the relevance of accountability in both. So by this I mean, as a humanitarian organisation, do you prioritise the needs of your donors and external stakeholders like the state governments, or do you prioritise the people that you're there to serve? Of course, no organisation wants to admit that they, they kind of prioritise the people, or sorry, they don't prioritise the people so much. But in reality, and as I found out through my research of UNHCR, that it is in their very like, inherent makeup as a United Nations agency that was um, brought together by states that they need to provide evidence and hard evidence as to where their funds are going. It's sort of termed upward accountability. And the UNHCR, I would argue, has adopted more riskier, more innovative technologies in order to help them do that. So they needed biometrics in order to help them show accurate records of where their money was going, who was being helped, and things like that. Oxfam, on the other hand, is more committed, well, overtly so, anyway, to a more human rights-based approach. So they uphold this kind of grassroots type of work in all of their programme and the way that the programmes are designed, which is great on one hand, but on the other, obviously, it's meant that historically they are kind of risk averse. They argue themselves that they are not a development lab and they would prefer to kind of stick with what they know. Um, so with less need or urgency for stricter accountability measures to the, the people above, the powers that be, technology like biometrics just wasn't so suitable. So it's a really new and interesting area of humanitarianism that I really enjoyed studying and I hope you enjoyed listening. Um, our society is increasingly digitalised and there's so much interest at the moment in data and big data and where it can go. So, well, I might continue researching this area, but to kind of understand not why an organisation might adopt uh, biometrics, but how they can do so and how they can do so ethically. Thank you.